Hello, Walnut Street. Hello, Walnut Streeters. My goodness, I miss being there with all of you, and I'm so happy for this opportunity to, to say hello, even if virtually. Uh, I'm Mark Jacoby. I have been honored and pleased to do four uh, productions at the Walnut Street. Um, I know it's not Mary Martello territory, but each of those shows was for me a, a wonderful experience, each in a different way. Um, I was in 42nd Street, State Fair, Fiddler on the Roof. I got to do Tevya, and I had never dreamed that that opportunity would ever come my way, and lo and behold, it did. And finally, how to succeed in business without really trying. Uh, my walnut story involves a telephone. There's an old show business adage that uh, an actor should never do a scene with children or animals. And I somewhat think a telephone should be added. Don't do scenes with children, animals, or telephones because they are fraught with danger. There's a somewhat well-known theater story about two actors on the stage playing their performance. The set is a living room and there is a telephone there. And of course the telephone rings and it's not supposed to. It's not in the script. There's no phone call indicated. And the two actors look at each other like, well, what are we going to do? You can't ignore it. Everybody can hear it ringing. So one, one of them walks over, picks up the phone. Hello. It's for you. Pretty good. When we were doing 42nd Street, the story is that we're producing this lavish musical, uh, Pretty Lady. And uh, there is a character never seen in, in the show that is sort of causing us some problem. He, he's a little bit of a thug. And I decide, I'm Julian Marsh, the producer director, I'm going to call this guy on a telephone and uh, basically read him the riot act. You better leave us alone or you're in trouble. That, that sort of thing. And it, it, the way it was staged by Chuck Appett was... Uh, I say the line, I think we've got a problem. Walk over stage left. I'm handed a phone by a crew member. Make the phone call, hand the phone back off into the wings and resume the scene. So at this particular uh, performance, I say my line, I think we've got a problem. I walk over to stage left. I'm handed the phone. I start to make the call and the phone literally disintegrates in my hand. Every part of the phone separates from every other part of the phone and falls to the floor. And there I stand. And I said, I think we've got another problem. Okay. So then, in a moment of thespian brilliance, I decide I'm going to describe the call. I'm not going to make the call, obviously. I have no phone. <laughs> so what I will do is describe the call that I would have made. So, so I say, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call that guy and I'm going to tell him, you better not do this. You better not do that. You better not do the other thing. Are you in big trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call him and say all of those things. Okay. And on we go with the scene. Well, it wasn't fabulous, but we kept the curtain up. And I thought to myself afterwards, I have now paid my debt to the telephone gods, and for the rest of my career, I won't have to worry about telephone issues. And, praise the Lord, that has proven to be the case. <laughs> thank you for listening to this silliness. Uh, thank you again for wonderful, wonderful times on the stage of the Walnut Street. Uh, please be well, be safe, be happy, be hopeful. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.